Hey, what's up everybody? This is Osric 501 and today I want to show you guys another gold farm. Now for this you're going to be killing rares that have a chance to drop items that were previously unobtainable since Cataclysm when they remade a lot of the old vanilla zones. And you're going to be killing three different rares in L1 Forest for these. Um, and since they just started dropping a patch 8.0, they're still selling for quite a bit because they still don't have a guaranteed drop chance. Like I killed one of these rares like a dozen times and didn't get its item. Even though you can farm these pretty frequently if you know how to do it correctly, which I'm going to explain in this video. So first off, since this is an L1 forest, if you're Alliance, you can very easily switch war mode on and off in Stormwind. Which makes it so it puts you in different shards or different phases of the zone. So you have basically double the chances you would normally have. Um, of killing these rares and getting the items. So first off, we're going to be killing Mother Fang. I'll show you guys the area that these rares spawn at. You'll see it in the video, but I will still show you on the map, so it's much easier for you guys to know where to go. So first off, you're going to be killing Mother Fang, which is a big spider in this cave. And Mother Fang has a chance to drop a Broodmother Carapace, which is a green chest piece that currently on my server is selling for 35,000 gold. Um, which is much lower than like other people on forums are saying and what like loot appraiser still has it as which is like 350k but 35k for how quick this is is still pretty insane gold mother fang also drops these white boots which were previously unobtainable as well and have like a really high value i think they're like 14k on my server now i don't know if these actually sell um i looked up on like wowhead and stuff like that old posts and people were saying that they used to use these like before a transmog came in as like guild or um, like RP sets or stuff like that. So I don't know if these are going to sell. That's just another thing that has a possibility of selling, I guess. I put them up. I'm still testing to see if they sell. They are. They would still be considered transmog basically, so they could take a while to sell. Now, next you're going to be killing Morgane the Sly, which is a bandit in this one little house. And she has a chance to drop a jewel dagger, which currently in my server is going for 45,000 gold. Now, this dagger, I've actually sold two of them since the patch. They were a little cheaper in 45k, so I think maybe someone was trying to snipe them. But I still sold two of these and made a ton of gold for doing pretty much absolutely nothing. I got insanely lucky and got them on back-to-back -back kills, which I've killed this one rare a few dozen times since patch 8.0 and probably have only gotten like four of these total if that um, so it's not the highest drop chance but you still have a chance to sell these um, Morgane the Sly also has a chance to drop white boots that were previously unobtainable just like Mother Fang um, they're a different pair of boots they're also going for like 10 to 14k around the same range I don't know if those sell either same as the first things but you might as well try to see if they sell I mean if you get white boots and stuff for 14k you basically just won for doing very little so the third rare is going to be gruff swift blade which is a knoll over by hogger and he can spawn in any of the little camps there's a bunch of tents set up in little camps all over that forest area um he can spawn at any one of those so just look around he's much bigger than the others and you know the star by his name um he can drop boar hide leggings which currently on my server are going for 30k gold um, I have sold one of these leggings um, for that 30k gold, which is pretty insane. I don't think he can drop any like boots or white item that was like previously unobtainable or anything. So it's just a boar hide leggings. Um, and this guy seems to be the least killed one I've noticed. Like it seems people just skip over this guy or don't really know about him. A lot of people actually don't know about these three rares. Everyone's like still farming for the chromatic sword that was one of the other unattainable items added into a rare with a patch 8.0 so make sure if you're going to be doing this farm um, what i do is i basically start off in pve mode i'll go check all the farms i'll go back to stormwind i'll turn on war mode and then i'll go out and do it again um, so it you have really good chances to go get these. I've noticed not a lot of people are farming them. Many, much more people, or I guess like one or two extra people are farming these in PvE. Because you'll see monks with Rutchick Jade Wind just standing there AFK on the farm spot, or the spawn points of these rares. But that's basically what I wanted to show you guys. Let me know what you think about 
the spawn. I like these type of farms, hunting down rares that have decent chances to drop like um, rare items. I'm a big fan of these type of farms. So let me know what you think about this farm spot and these new unobtainable items that you can get again. And thanks for watching.